Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to classify some images using TensorFlow, a uh, TensorFlow Lite on the Google Coral Edge TPU development board. So I'm really excited and let's get started. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to SSH into the dev board. Now if you have it plugged into your data port, you'll just want to type in Mendel at 192.168.100.2. That's its local IP address and it'll ask you for a password. The default password is Mendel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change into the directory with the script in it. So, it. so first things first, I'm going to go through each file and explain to you what it's for. And then I'm going to go through the actual code and explain to you how the code works step by step. So this is classifyimage.py. This is the actual Python script. This is the images folder. Um, this is where all our images will be stored. This is the label file. This is uh, the words that the pictures will be labeled with if there is a match found. And this is the actual TF Lite model, the mobile net TF Lite model. And, um, and that's going to be what we'll be using to classify the images with. So let's go ahead and nano into the Python script. So the first thing we do is we import um, the classification engine from the Edge TPU uh, library. I guess it's the Edge TPU classification engine library, and then we're going to be using Pillow for image class or for image um, handling, and we're going to be using Glob for iterating through a, f um, a list of images in a folder. So this is the image folder. This is going to be the list of uh, images that we load into an array. And this is the model that we'll be using, and this is the file that we use for labeling. This is a, sim a small little function that basically just returns the, the labels in a numbered format, so it's easier to work with. And let's see here. So what we do here is we set the labels as, you know, as we use that function that we just went over to make them in a an easier to handle format. Um, then we set the engine, which is the model that we that we chose that I chose, which is uh, MobileNet. So we load the MobileNet model, and then we run the inferences on all the images in the image folder. So it's it's really that simple. So right here, what we're doing is we're just going through each um, image inside that image folder that we set, and we're running the inference on it. So here we we use Pillow to open up the image and um, for reading, and then here we this is this is where the actual inference happens so it says for results in engine.classify with image and then here's the actual image that you give it and then this is the top k which basically means the top three most likely results i'm actually going to change this to one because i don't really mind um and so that's just um if it's confused if it's not sure if it's one thing it might have a couple other suggestions of what it might be it'll post those as well it'll say hey it, you know there's a slightly smaller chance that it could be this one so this is just you know printing our results and yeah so it's a really really small and simple and you know props to google for making it this easy so um, i'm going to go ahead and exit out of this okay so next what we want to do is get some random images to do this with you can use the images that um, i provide in the link below uh, i also just i happen to go to this website randomlist.com slash things that's where i got all my images so um, that's a really easy way if you're having trouble finding um, where to get images, I was. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the images that I have in this folder. Uh, so I have three images. One is of a phone, one of is a radio, and one is of a remote. I'm actually gonna show you those images. So let's see, downloads. So phone, radio, and remote. So here's the radio, here's the remote, and here's the phone. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add the TV, and I'll show you how to do that. So what you want to do, you can't do this from the 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 development board while you're SSH inside the development board. You need to go here um, to your actual 
you need to go over to your actual OS and uh, this is my downloads folder this has all the images in it I'm going to SCP which is just SSH copy the file from from where <laughs> from my operating system to the development board and I'll show you how to do that so like I said I'm going to grab tv.jpg so you want to do SCP you know file name and then the path so the path is going to be kind of similar to what we SSH into but we're going to add a colon at the end and then we're going to define the path that we want to send the file to so file, and then it's classify images so that and it's going to ask for the password and looks like it was successful so let's double check so there's a TV yep there's a TV in here okay so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna go ahead and run this program okay wow <laughs> so as you can see it guessed the remote control correctly as a remote control um, the tape player I believe is the radio which that's close enough for me that's really cool television great and dial telephone so not even just telephone it knows the specific kind of telephone which is creepy so, so yeah that's really cool um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more tutorials like this uh, maybe some retraining tutorials that'll be fun so um, please let me know what you'd like to see in the future and you know I'll do it I'll, I'll post a I'll post a tutorial on whatever you'd like so, so uh, thanks for watching everyone have a good day